something that I run into a lot when I work with busy professionals is this fear that they're too busy or like you're too busy, right? Too busy working, focusing on the things that really, really matter, like making money, we all need to make more money, building your business or doing your deliverables so that your boss doesn't fire you and making sure that you're taking care of all the things that need taking care of in your home, in your, if you've got children, your children, it might be family, it might be your sick parents, whatever it might be, but you're too busy, you know, they're too busy, everyone's too busy. And when we think about our love lives, our relationships, it's like they really are quite low down on the priority list because actually they're almost like a kind of nice to have rather than something we're gonna really prioritize, especially if we don't have them, right? And I get that, that's something that I certainly have thought for a lot of my life, you know, focus on building up. The income for me was like the main thing actually. I was always about building up my income, building up my career and gaining a lot of life experience to be honest. Um, but what I really wanna challenge here is to what extent is it actually true that focusing on your love life and your personal relationships means that you're going to be even more busy, that it's actually going to take up a lot of time? Like where did that even come from, really? Who said it's going to take a lot of time, right? Like, where is that narrative coming from? Because it's almost like this kind of narrative has come out of, I honestly don't know where, that it's going to be this really big, hard, overwhelming slog. My hunch is because there are not enough people actually know about healthy relationships and they remain this kind of very enigmatic thing. But irrespective of wherever this narrative comes from, my point is, as someone who specializes in the behavioral science of attraction and understands how to drive a healthy relationship, how to even create one, how to date in a healthy way, proven by science, you know, looking at the neuroscience of what is healthy dating and relationships, what I can tell you now is that it really doesn't have to take much time to learn all of this stuff to get better at all of this stuff, it's actually all about bite-sized learning. It's actually all about taking, you know, 10 to 15 minutes a day to practice the new behaviors, to create those new neural pathways. This isn't about going on a long retreat and, you know, taking a year to do soul searching on your relationships. No, and nor is this about having to quit your job and then lose sight of all the things that matter just because, you know, you focus on matters of the heart. You are a fully integrated human being and actually, when you do this inner work, the inner work of intimacy, you're actually doing the inner work to build your self-esteem, to build your confidence, to build your vision, your clarity, to become a better person. So actually everything else that you're prioritizing, your wealth, your business, your family, is also gonna really improve, including your health. So it's the best place to start with as little as 15 minutes.